Hello guys, welcome back to another video, wherever you are, special greetings to you. And if today is your first time, why don't you do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video, you can also get it and watch. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how Matteo Salvini is saying they should give the credit to him because he is the one who gave pressure to Mario Draghi for giving a date of the reopening or lifting the lockdown of Italy and also one Nigerian immigrant in Libya has killed his fellow immigrant just because of money guys so guys without wasting much time let's do this thing together yeah guys but before I start this video let me tell you that great great calf service is still reminding you that if you want to do your certain rent if you want to do your ISA they are ready to do it for you they are calf service which they explain their services for you before they even start to do anything for you so if you want any calf or if you want any calf which they will explain everything for you to understand dito dito then i am recommending great great calf service for you just contact them today and ask them what you want to do and they will explain everything for you before they even start to do the service that you want for you that is their numbers on the screen you can call them now and they will attend to you and do everything for you successful now let's move on to the main reason why we are here today one nigerian immigrant in libya has killed his fellow immigrant in the same libya just because of money this nigerian guy killed this guy after taking the money to run away he disguised like a woman for running away you know for libyans they respect madams a lot immediately that they see you have putting that thing on your head like a woman they will start to give you the respect and then the police discover that this guy is not a woman but he rather disguised as a woman to run away after they did investigation it was that he killed this guy and took his money guys it's not easy at all why is it that always it is nigerian that is why sometimes if you are, we are talking they will say we don't like nigerians or we don't want we want to spoil the name of nigerians but it's not that way it's not that way look at your brother the way the suffering look at the way libya suffering is you know how your brother suffered to get this money and at the end of the day you want to kill the person to take the money this one is more or less like a money rituals libya news today they said security forces in m salata town have arrested a foreigner from nigeria for killing another foreigner before stealing all his money the killer disguised himself as a woman in an attempt to escape from the town hashtag libya guys you know how the suffering in libya is so don't just come and say my brother has money i need to kill him and take the money and go away as i said before it's more or less like a money rituals that you are doing you cannot work hard for the money look at this person like this if you reach europe what are you going to do if you reach europe what are you going to do even in libya you have started killing people to collect their money and disguise like a woman and run away Guys, as you can see his pictures and then the money that he was trying to run away with and then the police try to catch this boy. So it's not easy at all. That is what is coming from the side of Libya. As I said, because the situation in Libya, you don't have to start doing this kind of things. You don't have to start committing this kind of crime, trying to steal a brother just because you want money. Work hard to get your own money. And even if you are enjoying that money, you will be happy for enjoying your own sweat that you have sweat to get the money so guys this is just by the way from the side of libya and now let's move on to the other story matteo salvini came out and he was saying why is it that people italians or even the citizens are giving the credit to mario draghi because mario draghi said on the 26th of april he is still he is going to start opening italy or he is going to lift lockdown from italy matteo salvini said he is the one together with his party they have pushed or they have given the pressure to mario draghi for him giving the date that the 26th of this month they are going to lift the lockdown so why is it that they are giving the credit to mario draghi because mario draghi did not do anything if it was not him matteo salvini and the party the lega they wouldn't have do anything by now they would have been saying red zone yellow zone orange zone but guys it looks like this time around i'm going to have something in common with matteo salvini with this uh, reapertura that is the lifting of the lockdown because you know sometimes if you are even going to look forward they'll say covid 19 covid 19 COVID-19. So now even if they leave the COVID-19, I don't know whether they are still going to say it's COVID-19 or it's COVID-19 because the way they are going to lift the lockdown is going to be in such a way that uh, the corporate folk, that is Obiaran Koda from five 
from 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. in the morning, that, that one is even going to be canceled. You understand? So it is going to be like free movement and you are going to do things like the way you want. It is going to be like normality. I think they said uh, from next week, it is going to be only three regions that is that is going to be in uh, in the high ranks. That is only three regions, but the remaining regions, the contagious and everything is coming down. So uh, it's going to be something like normality. You don't have any. You don't have to go out with any uh, self certificates. Uh, the restrictions. It's going to be like normal life. So let's pray that this twenty six will reach and then all our activities will start again. Now let's go and watch Matthew Salvini video. When we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. So Buonasera ragazze, buonasera ragazzi, ben ritrovati da Palermo, torniamo e stasera lo merita a passare qualche minuto insieme sperando che sia uno degli ultimi venerdì con questo benedetto maledetto coprifuoco che è uno dei prossimi obiettivi da abbattere, tornare a vivere sempre rispettando la prudenza e la distanza anche alle dieci e mezza della sera, alle undici, alle undici e un quarto, fare due passi con gli amici, eh, fare un giro in bicicletta al parco, uscire, sempre tenendo presente che la vita è una e va salvata, però uno dei prossimi obiettivi è questo, però oggi permettetemi di dire grazie, grazie a voi che avete tenuto duro, non avete mollato, anche quando sembrava che non ci fosse speranza, non ci fosse via d'uscita, adesso abbiamo finalmente un calendario di ritorno alla vita, di riaperture, scuole, università, cinema, teatri, impianti sportivi, oratori, associazioni, il tornare a fare gli allenamenti, il tornare a fare la partita di calcetto, il tornare a fare colazione con il cappuccino la mattina al bar, la merenda al pomeriggio e addirittura una pizza o un piatto di carbonara la sera alle otto e mezza, alle nove, seduti all'aperto, al ristorante, guardando la luna, senza la paura di essere inseguiti dai droni o identificati dalle forze dell'ordine, un bel passo in avanti. E poi via via un calendario di riaperture per piscine, per palestre, per musei, fiere, matrimoni, eventi, congressi, chi la dura la vince, e grazie alla piccola grande Lega che contro tutto e contro tutti e contro tanti è riuscita a tornare a far prevalere il buon senso, la scienza, la scienza che lo dico al Ministro Speranza eh, non può vedere solo rosso, la scienza vale giustamente quando la situazione è drammatica e bisogna chiudere, bisogna sacrificarsi, bisogna stringere la cinghia, però se la stessa scienza, come fortunatamente accade da giorni e giorni, ci dice che si può tornare alla vita, alla scuola, all'università, alla cultura, allo sport, all'arte, all'amore, ebbene, evviva! Evviva, il 26 di aprile sembrava impossibile, ecco senza la Lega al governo probabilmente ci sarebbe stata l'ennesima decisione, l'ennesima chiusura, l'ennesimo rinvio, ne riparliamo a maggio, ne riparliamo a giugno e vedi che chi la dura la vince, quindi grazie. Ovviamente è l'inizio di un percorso di ritorno alla normalità, di ritorno alla bellezza, di ritorno all'incontro, di ritorno alla passione, di ritorno al lavoro di ritorno alla fattura, di ritorno allo stipendio, di ritorno all'incasso, rinascita, ripartenza, rinascimento, liberazione. Stasera in molti, me compreso, andremo a dormire tirando un sospiro di sollievo perché si vede la fine di questo dannato anno di drammi, di morte, di paura, di malattia, di disoccupazione, di chiusura, di coprifuoco ritorno alla vita, soprattutto per ragazze e ragazzi che hanno diritto a riprendersi quello che è loro. Quindi una cosa alla volta, ripeto, abbiamo ottenuto un bellissimo passo in avanti grazie ai sindaci, grazie ai governatori, grazie alle associazioni, ai ristoratori, ai, bali, ai baristi, ai gestori di impianti sportivi. È solo l'inizio, eh? è solo l'inizio, però in questa settimana è stato approvato un decreto da 40 miliardi di euro per le imprese il che vuol dire che non verrà disperso in mance, mancetti, aiutini, redditini o monopattini, partite IVA, artigiani, commercianti, 
liberi professionisti, imprenditori, agenti di commercio, quindi chi alza la saracinesca, chi ha il registratore di cassa, chi rischia del suo e più di tanti ha sofferto. Yes, I hope you have seen the video and I hope this time around some of you are going to be in support of Matteo Salvini or in agree with him of some words that he has said. You know, if somebody is not good or if somebody is bad, sometimes there will be some words that he will say and then you will like them. It's not that because the person is a bad person he talks about immigrants he spoils immigrants name always you will be disagreeing with him because if italy lift lockdown now it's going to help a lot of immigrants because i know a lot of immigrants are working in the side of restaurant and this kind of bar so if they lift lockdown you are going to start your work again so i think this time around if you have <laughs> some little agreement with Mazio salvini or what he is saying yeah guys so this is the update i have for you today the name is Sirimis official cracker on youtube official cracker on facebook official Shall underscore cracker one on Instagram. If you have any question, you can drop it over there and we will give you the reply over there. And if you want to share the video, you are welcome. You can share the video. Try to also like the video. Don't just watch the video and go like that. And if today is your first time watching me, please do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video. You will know that we have put in another update. Till we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.